Hey guys, I had to hurry and hop on and share with you my ideas for March Madness. Um, my mind has been going about this project for a while, but I've had other things come up that kind of got in the way of it. But I wanted you to be able to have enough time to kind of think about it and plan on it and implement it into kind of your daily schedule. So I just wanted to give you a brief rundown of kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so March Madness, so excited. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to start, start with a reading comprehension. The reading comprehension is all about the history of March Madness, where it began, how many teams are involved, um, how that team is selected, kind of the selection process in the committee. Um, super interesting. The next sheet that's available is a kind of a tip sheet uh, for filling out the perfect bracket, which is a lot of fun based on like color probability, mascot probability. Um, if you're going to pick an upset, which uh, seed has the highest likelihood of an upset? So a lot of fun. And then there's a crossword that goes along with that. Once you've done that sheet and done the introduction to March Madness, I highly encourage you to fill out a bracket with your class. There's a website available that I'll go into that basically allows you to do this all digitally. It'll track everything for you um, and just kind of involves everyone and gets them excited about the process and what's going on. Um, the next activity is the one that I am most excited about and I can't wait to share with you. I've kind of taken a page out of fancy basketball and trading cards and it's going to be awesome. So this is what I'm calling the dream team activity. You're going to need to split your class into four divisions. So we've got the east, the west, the Midwest and the South. You're gonna want about six to eight people per group, um, just depending on your classroom size. The way that I would do this is I would just project this on my whiteboard and then draw popsicle sticks. And when students hear their name, they get to go write their name next to a team of choice. Um, and once you have about six to eight people per division, you would consider that group full. Depending on time, you can do this activity or skip on to the next one. But the next activity would be having students research their team of choice. So school colors, mascot, um, kind of their statistics, the school motto, the history, all of those things. I'll have this available as either a Google slide, so it can be done digitally in Google Classroom, or you can do it on the paper version. Both are great. All right, best part. Students are now going to create trading cards for their team. So for those five starting players, they're going to put down their weight, their height, their class, their hometown. Um, and then the best part is they're also putting down like their field goal percentage, uh, assists, rebounds, blocks, personal fouls. The best part about these statistics is that they are for the most part given in decimal form to the thousands point. So students are going to to have a look at these statistics, analyze them, figure out what it means, and apply it because what they're going to do next is use these trading cards to create a dream team of that division. So all of the six to eight people that are in that division, like the West or the Midwest, they're going to go through all of the starting players that they have and come up with a new starting five, one player. Um, they each have to be from different teams. So they'll have five new starters, all from different teams, and then they also have to fill out their bench, which will consist of kind of seven additional players, um, making sure that there's at least one player for each position played. Um, they'll look at their statistics and kind of analyze that. And then as the tournament goes on, they're going to be given points of both positive value and negative value to determine their fantasy league or this dream team percentage point-wise. So it's gonna be awesome.